hi guys how are you all in our previous video we have learned about the generics and how you can what is the where uh, where arc that is variable number of argument how to use it and you have seen the example how you can create generics for multiple uses so today we are going to learn about another concept that is nested classes in kotlin for this let me create uh, let me create a you no know, kotlin class or file that is nested class example and let's just create this file and let's create our function main and in this so what is a nested class so guys nested nested class is just a simple like when we create a class inside another uh, inside another class that is called as nested class that is creating nest of classes so for example we have a um, class motor motor vehicles and uh, inside this class motor vehicles inside we have a class in engine so this is called as the nesting of class and in this we can say function start engine and in this less print simple engine engine started engine started so this is called as nested class like in the motor vehicle and let's define a variable vehicle color that is equals to red right so this is called as uh, like we have created a class motor vehicle inside it we have a class engine and uh, we have defined a variable so how uh, this proves the nested nesting of class so basically uh, we define nested classes that is class inside a class because they don't have their own existence without the parent class so for example uh, in general life as well an engine is of no use without the car so even if you define this engine class outside this motor vehicle it will be of no use they won't have their it will not be having any existence without the motor vehicle that's why we create this inside this class and whenever you are going to use the motor vehicle it will get along with it so that's how uh, sometime we need need to create those classes and that's how you create nested classes so how you can call them uh, for example variable motor for motor vehicle which we have defined i think it is calling some other motor vehicle motor vehicles right and you can access motor vehicle dot mm -hmm. we have to name it like like this motor vehicles 3 something is yeah now it is it has called so now you will see you have access to vehicle color to string but you don't we don't have access to this start engine so to to the to do to do this what we can what we have to do is we have to define a another function engine that will be motor we can say motor dot no we we also can't call it like this we have to do uh, like in we have to start it like this motor vehicle dot engine motor vehicle 3 dot engine because it is going to call it like this way and now you can call the function engine dot start engine and let's print we have print the statement all already so this is how you can call the nested class functions like you have to call it with the parent class name dot engine and then it will call the function so yeah but what if you wanted to create the function but if you want to call the functions uh, or the properties or the variables of the parent class inside the nested class let me try like for example if we add it like this vehicle color we want to call this hair 
we cannot access it so to do to do this what we have to do is we have to name it like inner class then you can access the properties of the parent class and now you can access the vehicle color but it gives us an error constructor of inner class engine can be called only with receiver of containing class for that because we need to uh, like create the what we have to do now is we have to create the constructor of parent class first then only uh, you can call the inner class constructor for this you have to do motor vehicle 3 dot engine now you can access it and you can now simply say engine 2 dot start engine and let's remove this and when you go into print it can now access the vehicle color as well and then started red so this is how guys you can create nested classes and the, this is about inner class when you want to access the, the properties or variables of the parent class and you have to create the constructor of outer class that is parent class first then you can create the constructor of inner class then you can call it so that's all for today hope you have learned something new do comment like and subscribe and let us know if you want us to make videos on some specific topic that's all for basics of kotlin guys you hope you have learned on the kotlin basics and we will make some more videos for the advanced topic of kotlin for example core routines dependency injections and more videos on jetpack compose till then guys keep learning thank you